Today what we're doing is the basic introduction of the ACFT, the Army Combat Fitness Test, uh, which is the physical fitness test that we as soldiers are mandated to take uh, every single year. The first event is the deadlift. You will stand in the middle of a metal hex bar with weights attached at both ends, and you are required to perform three repetitions the second event of the Army Combat Fitness Test is the Standing Power Throw. The Standing Power Throw requires a soldier to stand at a start line, throw a medicine ball that weighs 10 pounds as far as they possibly can. The third event is the Hand Release Push-Up. You will do as many push-ups as you possibly can, fully elevate your body to the upward position. When you come back down, your chest and stomach will lay flat on the floor, and you will then have to stretch your arms out and back in before you can perform the next repetition. The fourth event is the sprint drag carry. A sprint 25 meters out and 25 meters back. You will then grab a sled, which you will then have to drag. You will then have side shuttle, keeping your hands out in front of you, straddling. You will then have to carry two kettlebells. You will then have to do one final sprint, and you will have to do this within a certain time limit. The fifth event of the Army Combat Fitness Test is the plank. Uh, the plank is going to consist of each individual soldier holding a straight line plank position on their hands and elbows. Uh, that will test your core strength and endurance. The final event of the Army Combat Fitness Test is the two mile run. For the two mile run, a soldier must run two miles within the allotted time. In order to make that time limit, most people will have to keep a pretty decent pace. The requirements uh, for passing the Army Combat Fitness Test are based off of age and gender.